Hey everyone, it's Billy Joe, Mike, and Trey from Green Day. Check out this behind the scenes look at our new video game, Green Day Rock Band. I first heard Green Day as probably many people did with Dookie and uh, you know I play in a, in a band with my brothers and various friends at points in time and just covers you know not originals but once or a few times a year we'll get together to you know play songs that we all know and Green Day songs were always songs that we all knew so even you know dating back to the earlier mid 90s th those songs were burned into our common consciousness. Dookie as an album I mean they're playing some really fast, really intense, you know, punk pop stuff, um, but also really melodic, like the the harmonies, uh, which are something that we've added in Green Day Rock Band, are really fun sort of like sing-along harmony that it's pretty easy to get the vibe of. It's exciting for me to hear the song She and hearing like, you know, like the, the stems that they had to do before with uh, Chris Lord Algae, who's, uh, uh, who, who ended up doing all the different mixes for it to, to bring out the drums and the guitars and bass and vocals. Trey's drums, like, you know, from the start, um, they'll kick your ass. One thing about the early days is sort of a foreshadowing of what we were capable of doing later on, you know, um, as far as being a live band and getting more into to production, being better and giving more, giving everything you have. American Idiot, uh, unlike most pop albums that are released at this point and rock albums that are released at this point in time, really was conceived as a concept album and a complete album, that the art object is the entire album. Listening to American Idiot and just making that realization that the band that had done all of these early sort of snotty nose punk songs had turned into this thing that was sort of speaking with a political voice and, and creating like something that was kind of powerful and cool. And we thought it would be um, a departure from the spirit intent of the band to break that up into pieces and serve up their music in an a la carte fashion. That made us think, well, maybe this will be the first game we do where we put full albums on the disc. 21st Century Breakdown is another one of these albums that's sort of meant to be experienced as a whole. We have six songs from uh, 21st Century Breakdown that are already in Rock Band, and it was actually a challenge for us that we were like, well, we want to have the entire album available for people who buy the game, but we've already made them buy some of those songs um, and we didn't want them to have to buy them again we didn't want to stick them on the disc and somehow have it affect the cost of the game so we decided to do the seamless import where uh, on each of the platforms if you've gotten the songs in rock band this game reaches over to that game's library realizes they're there and pops them in uh, to your song list and adds um, the, the mocap um, adds in uh, in all these cases uh, video assets for the back wall of the Fox Theater We've added those harmonies in, and a lot of those songs in particular have great two and three part harmonies. We've actually extended the, the career mode to encompass them, so that there are unique photos and a unique video that you can only unlock if you've actually got the DLC. So playing that game and having the stuff you get to actually, the game becomes larger, it becomes a complete three album game. So with those and then hits from the other albums in between, we ended up with a set list that was powerful. Well, I don't think every single person is gonna know every single song. I mean, there's definitely gonna be people that they know all the songs, but like, it's, um, it's a good way to discover some older material. We have uh, Geek Stink Breath, which is a ride, Brain Stew Jaded, Warning, Minority, Nice Guys Finish Last, and the Good Riddance Time of Your Life. The creative opportunity of working with one artist is you can choose a specific audience, which is fans of that artist, and just really create a, you know, a shrine to that artist and, and allow passionate fans of that artist to connect with them in a way that they never have before. 